Hello everybody, all of you are welcome in English class. Today we are going to discuss about a beautiful poem that is composed by Raksha Rai. The poem is A Rifleman. You can guess that, A Rifleman. Okay, first let me give you uh, the brief introduction about the poet. Raksha Rai is a Nepali poet and soldier. Uh, actually, he is the, you know, British soldier. His notable works, Poet on Killing John, This Dukhe Ko Chha, Shahid Ko Ama Ko Laas, okay, this all Nepali tongue. He shops in British Army, later he started writing literature after his retirement. He played great role to promote the Nepalese literature in the world. Of course, he is a pioneering figure for writing diasporic literature. Okay, let's talk about the theme of this poem. A Rifleman, each poem from his book, Poet in Killing John, War Poems. It was translated by Balaram Adhikari and it was published from Author House UK. In the poems, he has focused the injustice and suffering by the Gurkhaj in Britain. That is the most important point or the theme of this poem. He, of course, has shown the identity crisis of British Gurkhaj, those soldiers who are walking in British army. Okay, now let's go to the interpretation parts of the poem. The poet start with his weapons like cookery, rifle and his recruitment number, his real number 1157 as his identity. Of course, they are not the real identity. He, when he joined in British Army, he was provided with Kukuri rifle and his recruitment number 1157 that is regarded as his identity. But he says that he says that he was just a scarecrow, scarecrow. That's not the real thing to frighten. Uh, boards and other, you know, that is kept in the farm or the statue of flesh standing on a pair of wood. A statue, a statue does not do anything. It is made by somebody else and just stand. It doesn't have its, its own, any, you know, capacity, its vision, its mind. He is not sure about his identity. He is not sure about its identity. He shows the identity crisis. He talks about shining boot, stamping on the ground. That's army. They shine their boot. Okay. They polish their boot. They steal the shine. Okay. And the cold rifle fires to offer the salute. Offer the salute. He does not suppose such identity. He does not suppose that identity is the real identity that is just, you know, given by the British. He says it is fighter who make the history, but that is not written by the fighter, that is written by somebody else. The Tom Gorkha has been only the advertisement for such fighter just to lure them. The medal of Gurkha soldier would be the plain thing for the children. They don't have any value, prestige, dignity in the future. They are just the kids playing thing, according to him. Gurkhas have no intention of killing people, but they need to kill it. Not for the sake of the country, but for the sake of somebody else, some other country. And they wanted to shop in motherland, but he says, destiny pushed them in the battlefield of the world. 
He says that Gurkhas are living a life of dog, very miserable life, life of dog. Back in order to lick their master boot, they need to such a, you know, uh, they need to live such a life, you know, the life of dogs. And he says that boot licker, they need to lick their master boot and they have, have to follow each and every order. They don't have their own consigns. They need to go to encroach other lands, okay, lands of other countries or lose their own country, okay, in the time of battle. Moving away from their blood, moving away from their blood and have buried their history themselves. He says that they have moved from their own blood means their own motherland. They have left their their beloved motherlands and they have buried their history themselves working in other countries. A rifle does not have its conscience. It is not, you know, intelligence, a uh, living creature. Okay, it does not have its own concern. And soldier too does not have carry his own face. He does not have its own identity. He says that the hearts of Gurkha are uprooted. Uprooted, they do not have the strong root as they do not have their own originality. They need to follow hypocritically the order what they got from the commander. The brave Gurkha who are the victor of the world actually in real sense they have lost their own war. They have lost their own war. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much for your listening.